Hi everyone, I'm Miss Freeman and welcome to record a lesson four. Now that we've learned to play the notes B, A and G on our recorder, we're going to try and learn a couple of different pieces using those notes. So before we get started, let's just review. So remember you need your thumb hole closed for all three of these notes and then B is the first hole closed on your recorder. A is both of those and the thumb hole still closed on your recorder. And then G is all three of those holes on your recorder closed. So we've got our three notes. Let's practice. We're going to play B, A, G, A, B, A, G, A, B. Ready? And. If your recorder was making any squeaky noises there, it's probably because you've not quite got those holes closed on your recorder, any gaps, and the notes aren't going to sound out correctly. Let's practice the same thing again. Ready? And. Well done. So we're ready to have a look at our next piece of music. So the first piece of music that we're going to have a look at today is a clair de la lune. And in this piece of music, we've got our three notes, B, A and G. So we've got here our five line stave with our treble clef. And B is the one sitting on the middle line there. So the note is over that middle line in our stave. Now, usually when I'm counting the lines, I like to start at the bottom and count them from the bottom. So I've got one, two, three, four, and five. So B, if I count up, is one, two, three. So it's sitting on top of the third line of our stave. Now the A, A is sitting in a space. So that means it's between the two lines of the stave, not on top of a line. And if I count the spaces from the bottom, I've got one, two, three, four spaces. And the A is sitting not in the first one, but in the second space of our stave. And G, one, two, it's sitting on top of the second line of our stave. So those are our three different notes, B, A, and G. Now the length of the notes that we've got in this piece of music today, we've got our one count note where it's all coloured in, our two count note where it's got the open hole, remember they've got the tail that can go up or down. And we've also in this piece got our four count note which is just that open hole without a tail on it. So those are the three different length notes that we've got in this piece of music. Let's count through them together. So we've got one, 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 two, one, two. One, 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 two, three, four. One, 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 two, one, two. One, 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 two, three, four. Now that I've practiced counting the note lengths for Eau Claire de la Lune, I'm going to practice saying the letter names and practice putting my fingers in the right place on my recorder. So we're starting on a G, so make sure your thumb holes closed, and that's the three fingers closed there on the top three holes of your recorder. With your left hand, I'm just putting my right hand somewhere further down at the bottom for now, just to hold my recorder steady. So it starts on a G. Ready, let's do that together. I'm not going to play. And G, 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 A, B, A, G, B, A, A, G. G, 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 A, B, A, G, B, A, A, G. So you'll notice as well there that on um, the notes that are four counts long, I was very quietly just counting out loud the four counts so that I remember to wait before I start on the next note. Now that we've said our letter names and counted uh, the length of our notes in our piece of music, we're ready to have a go at playing it on our recorder. Remember those holes need to be closed properly 
and we're blowing very gently into the recorder. Let's do it together slowly. Ready? One, two, three, go. You managed to make that G sound correctly without squeaking there. You might also have noticed there's like a little comma in the top line of our music there. Um, that one is actually just there telling us to take an extra breath so that we can get to the end. It looks a bit like that note there, look, and it's sitting on top of our stave. Just like that. It's just telling us to take a breath before we carry on playing. Should be able to hear our beat playing now. Just make sure you've got the pulse. We're going to try and play it in time. It's a bit faster than we played it just a minute ago. Ready? One, two, three, go. get to the end with me let's try that one again ready one two three go so you might have noticed that breath that it's telling us to take on the stave you have to take that breath very quickly in order to get the next note in time with the beat. I hope you've enjoyed practicing the notes B, A and G today and learning to play Au Claire de la Lune. You need to keep practicing playing those notes until you can get them perfectly without any squeaks and keep practicing that piece until you can do it perfectly in time with that beat. Keep practicing. I'll see you next time.